what's up everyone how are y'all doing today so today i actually decided i'm going to do something new i'm going to take my hand at product photography and what i'm going to be taking pictures of is this well it's going to be video but videos and pictures maybe i don't know just know i'm not sponsored yet i mean if anyone wants to sponsor me i mean go ahead let's do product photography. You might be wondering, what do I have that I could use as a subject for product photography? And that is this lens. Now I'm not sponsored by working on but this is my working on 85 1.4 and it's a great lens but i'm going to use this as my subject i'm going to move all this stuff out of the way because i'm going to use this spot right here for my placement so i really hope this works <sighs> so i found this white sheet that i'm gonna put up in here hopefully i can get it up in here well, it doesn't have any wrinkles or anything that will stand out. Alright, so I'm about to show y'all what I did. Uh, I told y'all I was going to use a shelf. So I went ahead and grabbed the bed sheet and glued it in with hot glue. I couldn't nail it in, sadly. I couldn't thumbtack it in, so I had to hot glue it in. Yeah, so what I'm thinking is... I don't have a Lazy Susan, if you don't know what a Lazy Susan is, it's that spinny thing. So I'm probably going to have to make my own. So I have this, now let's see if I can find something I can put this on. So I am back, I am done doing that mini session. You might be wondering how much did it cost for me to get this shot and to be honest not that much besides the price of my camera and the lens thing I was shooting. I didn't spend that much to be honest. Um, I bought one of these at Goodwill for like 50 cents and I had two, well I had a skateboard wheel and I had a rollerblade wheel. By the way, I'm missing a rollerblade wheel on my roller skates. I took them and I took some screws, screwed them together, put bearings in the wheels, not in this order. <laughs> then I glued the bearings to the wheels and to the screws and then I glued them to different surfaces so it could spin. And I had to use my hand to spin it. Honestly, it would have been easier to buy a Lazy Susan off Amazon or something, but you know what? I don't have money, so that's a big issue in my life. So, besides that, it just took an hour and a half to actually get that set up. So, I really hope y'all liked this video. This video was really fun to do. It was really great and awesome to dive into the world of product photography with no help, with no money, with nothing to actually, you know, help me. <laughs> so I hope y'all enjoyed that. Just want y'all to know I am not sponsored yet. I'm not sponsored by anyone. So I was just doing this because I had these lenses laying around and I know I made a couple of videos already talking about my lenses, testing them out, and I just wanted to like do a video of them because I really love these lenses and it was really cool. And I really wanted to get into the world of product photography so I decided why not give it a try and use these lenses. 
next time I might actually invest in the Lazy Susan though, because it would be way easier. But I hope you liked this video, so until next time, and as always, peace out!